Thank you for joining us today on Edfile. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. It is not news that there is a chronic shortage of electricity in Nigeria. The slow performance of the public power sector has resulted in frequent power shortages, leaving large, medium and small enterprises, as well as households without reliable supply. But industries could save up to 20% of the energy they consume in production if they switch to a new international standard for energy management system. How is that possible? Well, that's our focus today on the program. Do stay with us. Throughout the world, electricity is the most widely used and desirable form of energy. It is a basic requirement for economic development, national development, meeting the sustainable development goals, and for an adequate standard of living. As a country's population grows, and its economy expands, its demand for electrical energy multiplies. If this demand is not met adequately, a shortage in supply occurs. This shortage can assume crisis proportions and possibly affect achieving sustainable energy development. There is a wide disparity in the energy demand to the supply ratio in Nigeria. A lot of energy is wasted because households public and private offices as well as industries use more energy than is actually necessary to fulfill their needs. One of the reasons is that they use outdated and inefficient equipment and production processes. Unwholesome practices also lead to energy wastage. Organizations don't uh, have the knowledge to quantify energy wastage. Uh, also, they don't have the capacity to be able to carry out energy auditing, uh, especially the, using the equipment or to carry out energy auditing. So, and uh, the level of uh, generation, especially electricity generation, is very uh, bad because most organizations carry out arbitrary generator sizing. So, because they cannot quantify, they, they don't measure because this is really critical also in energy auditing. You need to measure your energy status, the generation and utilization, and make a balance uh, on this. So this is a common trend. The huge economic, environmental, and social benefits derivable from adopting energy efficiency measures in industries have remained largely untapped by Nigerian industries due to lack of awareness, technical know-how, as well as paucity of funds to invest in energy efficiency projects. Many experts have argued that doing more with less power may be even more critical weapon in the struggle to achieve energy security and also offers big economic benefits for Nigeria's economy. The efficient and rational use of energy offers a unique opportunity for businesses and organizations to save resources, enhance their business and production processes, and ultimately have a positive impact on the environment. Companies do not realize the importance and the opportunities that energy efficiency offers. And in opportunities, we're talking about both economic benefits and technical benefits. There is also the lack of technical expertise. Um, in addition to that, uh, a number of companies do not see energy efficiency as a strategic investment. What they see rather is energy supply. But what we do not understand is that um, efficiency itself is a resource as important as the supply. So this, these are key, key barriers. There is also the issue of, um, of incentives from the government. Yes, we do have a national renewable energy and energy efficiency policy. However, there are necessary um, there is, there is a need for a complementary financial policy or that talks about incentives, incentives for companies that are implementing energy efficiency measures and this is missing in the space at the moment. So these are some of the challenges that you have with energy efficiency. Grand Series Limited is currently practicing the energy management system in industries in Nigeria. This measure was introduced by the Nigerian Energy Support Programme which is a 24.5 million euro technical assistance program launched to promote investments in renewable energy, energy efficiency and rural electrification. 
It is co-founded by the European Union and the German government and is jointly implemented by the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing. The NESP seeks to improve the framework conditions in Nigeria, both for the application of an investment in energy efficiency, renewable energy and rural electrification. So it's within the scope of this program that um, the NESP is working with the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria and the Nigerian Association of, National, Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture to support the introduction of energy management system in the industrial sector based on ISO 50001, which is an international standard for energy management system, which has now been adopted and approved in Nigeria by the Standards Organization of Nigeria as a Nigerian industrial standard. If you want to measure the uh, performance of energy management system, there are performance indicators that we normally use. And one of the basic performance indicators is what we call a specific energy input. So what do we mean by specific energy input? Specific energy input simply means the amount of energy needed to produce one metric ton of products. And at the end of 2016, so we have achieved 3.1% reduction in that uh, performance indicator compared to what was obtainable during the baseline year 2015. So summarily, we have actually reduced our energy consumption. Not only that, in terms of the energy efficiency measure, we installed what we call automatic voltage regulator. Automatic voltage regulator, uh, the capacity is actually 1000 kVA. The reason why we implemented that energy efficiency measure was as a result of the energy audit conducted by NESP. Anytime we experience any kind of a voltage fluctuation from the grid uh, electricity supply, so it's always a problem for that plant. So in order to respond to that challenge, so we were advised to actually install that AVR, which we did. So, and with the installation of AVR, it means that we can actually use the power from the grid supply and without using the power supply from the genset. Because before the installation of the AVR, once there's a fluctuation from the grid supply, so you have no choice than just to run the genset. So you burn the diesel and the rest. So with the installation of the AVR, we, installed, uh, we invested about 10 million naira to procure that equipment. But I can tell you, we save 3 million naira monthly on energy cost. So which means in a year, we experience a savings of 36 million naira per annum. So by investing 10 million naira, which means within three to four months, we've been able to recoup our investment. So. On average, 48% of total electricity consumed annually in the manufacturing sector is self-generated by using diesel generators which 86% of Nigerian firms own due to electricity outages. In fact, the total number of outages stood at 197 hours per month, compared to 15 hours in the world and 39 hours in the sub-Saharan African region. In the manufacturing sector, chemical and pharmaceuticals, meta product and plastics are the top three sub-sectors in terms of concentration of high power consuming industrial units. They account for about 60% of power consumption in the less than 100,000 kilowatt hour per month category. For companies, when we stay in this context, I think you want to look at your power source out of two reasons. The one reason is fighting climate change. Yeah? And the other reason is reducing energy costs. Yeah? Fuel in Nigeria is very expensive. Yeah? Diesel, yeah? oil yeah? is very expensive, also natural gas, and is increasing. Yeah? So that means you want to find ways how to reduce your dependency on fossil fuels and employ renewable energy technologies. In the long run, like we said, you make a cost-benefit analysis, and in the long run, it will be cheaper for you. Artist Steels is one of the two companies that benefited from the energy management system in industry's pilot projects and awarded ISO 50001 certification for their efforts. Although the management understands the benefit of the energy efficiency measures, awareness on energy wastage is still a challenge. In respect to our line, that preheated section is using too much energy. There is heater 
250 kilowatt heater is inside but for this it is uh, using too much energy that's why we are using uh, drives for heater is controlling with drives so that we can we can manage with drive so that it energy reducing to energy consumption in this country awareness is not there and people just heard the lecture then forget immediately that is the main problem here if proper training proper awareness is there there is too much growth in the sector that can I, if you want to change a bulb people think the initial cost is too much why we replace old one but when you are uh, your uh, you are aware that you are going to get benefit from it then you have to replace this system or particular part or particular equipment For two years, Olakunle and Andre delivered the energy audits for the energy management systems in industry in Nigeria to help the companies identify energy cost saving potentials. They were also charged with the responsibility of organizing and managing the Nigerian Energy Efficiency Network and to train company representatives on energy efficiency. They found that Many are yet to understand the cost-benefit analysis of the energy management measures. The industrial companies in Nigeria, as far as I have seen and audited them, um, they are, there's a huge potential to increase the energy efficiency. Yeah? Um, the thing is, there is a lack of awareness how to do this yeah? and what are the benefits. Yeah? So um, the costs are one side, yeah, of uh, energy efficiency, but most of the companies, they are not clear about what can be my benefit for, for the company in terms of cost savings, in terms of uh, increase in production um, and so on. It's good that we carried out that uh, two pilot uh, projects and we have case studies where uh, we can really showcase and people can see the benefits in uh, energy efficiency. So. And the, comp uh, the, the country is really willing anyway on uh, energy costs, especially the manufacturers. So energy costs has really been a, a, a big challenge. So seeing that uh, two companies have really carried out energy efficiency projects and they, they've saved a lot of money. So I'm sure this will really encourage other companies to also embrace this initiative. In the course of energy management system in industry's pilot projects, the energy audit at both facilities revealed an average potential for energy savings of 19% over 6 gigawatt hour of electricity and over 40% in energy cost savings, that's over 130 million naira per company, based on 2015 values. So what, what the Nigerian Energy Support Program has done is to support both Artist Steel and Grand Zero, which are the two pilots to actually establish and implement an energy management system. What that means is there is a systematic process put in place that enables these companies to manage their energy consumption on a continual improvement basis. And that follows a, a, a standard, which is the ISO 50001. So in doing that, of course, it includes putting in place an energy policy, which shows that the, the management of the company is committed to actually implementing um, uh, energy performance improvements and that they have objectives, they have targets and in addition to that you of course that follows through with, with, with having an audit because you need to establish what how much energy you actually consume so that you can then manage because what you don't measure you can't manage so that follows with a set of action objectives and action plans you know, com the company setting a target for itself to say this is what it wants to do in terms of how much energy it uses for its operations. This is what it wants to achieve over a certain period of time. The constant power shortages across the country and the lack of efforts to respond to the energy demand in the industrial sector remain the main barriers to sustainable industrial development in Nigeria. This necessitates an urgent need for alternative energy sources and efficient energy usage. 
energy efficiency improvements have multiple advantages, such as the efficient exploitation of natural resources, the reduction in air pollution levels, and lower spending by the consumers on energy-related expenditure. Investments in energy efficiency result in long-term benefits, such as reduced energy consumption, local environmental enhancement, and overall economic development. Energy use has environmental impacts, regardless of the source or mechanism. For example, hydroelectric projects affect the local ecological systems and displace long-standing social systems. Fossil fuel power creates pollution in the extraction, transportation, and combustion of its raw materials. Cost-effective energy efficiency is the ultimate multiple pollutants reduction strategy. These are two sides of one coin, right? So the first thing uh, is there is not enough power in Nigeria, full stop. It's reality, right? Um, so, but the second thing is immediately uh, it comes together. Yeah, is if we would use the power that is available more efficiently, yeah, then um, immediately we have uh, gained yeah, uh, small parts of energy. Yeah. And well, when we're talking about where does the power come from, in Nigeria it comes to almost 80% from gas uh, power plants. Right? Um, so we all know gas, you know, when you burn gas, is not is, is harmful for the environment, is not good in terms of fighting climate change. Yeah? So renewable energies, um, they provide a possibility to have a clean energy, yeah? clean power. It is estimated that between 2010 and 2040, Africa's energy demand will grow by 85%, while new power generation and associated infrastructure are critical to bridging the gap between energy supply and demand, the role of energy efficiency as a least cost energy resource is critical to reducing overall demand, decreasing the need for expensive peak capacity and allowing electricity supply to be expanded to meet increasing demand in a timely, low cost and sustainable way. Appliances and lighting are primary consumers of electricity in residential and commercial buildings. And as more Africans become connected to the grid, the efficiency of appliances and lighting becomes even more critical to cost-effectively meet demand, mitigate supply constraints, and improve utility sector performance. For example, a 40-watt solar panel can power a 25-watt incandescent light for almost five hours a day. However, if the latest high-efficiency appliances are used, the same system could power two brighter LED lights for the same five hours while also powering a color television, a fan, a mobile phone charger, and a radio for more than three hours per day. We don't have enough, and uh, the, whenever we have, we still waste this because we don't really optimally utilize them. Like, uh, there are uh, technologies now in, in place, like, uh, let, I will even say, uh, give example of lighting system. Uh, LED bulb is around 3 watts and you see give the same illumination as the incandescent bulb that is 60 watts. So imagine retrofitting uh, 1 million LED bulbs. This is like building a, a full a, a power plant that might be up to even 40 megawatts in Nigeria. So uh, this is really a paradox and this is what we really need to look into uh, um, critically. Nigeria is the biggest hydropower producer and has the largest oil reserves in the economic community of West African states. It also offers great potential for renewable energy. However, the country's electricity sector is unable to meet the increasing demand for electricity. The, the cost benefits is really important because uh, most times we don't really look at the savings that we're going to incur uh, by investing in energy efficient uh, appliances. So uh, it's, it's really necessary to have, our, to have like incentives from the government to be able to subsidize on energy efficient appliances. Also, there are policy in place anyway, but they've, uh, the implementation has really been weak uh, in time because, and also 
Like I'll give an example of renewable energy system. There are like solar panels now. If you want to import solar panels, you all know to pay like duty on it because it's an energy efficient, it's a sustainable uh, energy development uh, thing. So, uh, but if this are uh, in place, if governments are able to incentivize, uh, they are able to reduce the cost on duty, then possibly we'll, be, we'll get to where we want to get to. Currently, only half of the installed capacity is available on the national power grid, and around 60% of the population has no access to electricity. In rural areas, this number increases to over 75%. At the same time, neither industry nor householders are sufficiently aware of the importance of using energy efficiently. Well, one of the, one of the things is we get overshadowed about uh, with, with the issue of inadequacy of supply. But what we do not realize is even with the limited supply that we have, we also need to talk about a balance of how that supply is being utilized. And that's where efficiency comes in. Because energy saved in one sector of the economy could readily translate to freed up capacity within the supply chain that can be channeled to another sector of the economy. So the issue of supply being inadequate is just as important as the issue of how do we actually utilize what is available and that's exactly where energy efficiency comes in. In order to address the challenges in the electricity sector, the Nigerian government has initiated various reforms. In 2005, the Electricity Power Sector Reform Act, among others, started the process of privatizing the sector. Yet, reforms designed to promote renewable energy sources, energy efficiency and rural electrification have only recently started to be introduced and implemented. I actually do see energy efficiency gaining momentum in the country. Um, the reason being that the the reason being that the federal government has adopted, uh, approved a national renewable energy and energy efficiency policy in 2015, um, and subsequent to that, the government has also approved a national, a national energy efficiency action plan um, in July last year. And what this does is it obviously shows the direction of the government um, as far as energy efficiency is concerned, because the government has also identified that energy efficiency is a resource that is capable of yielding uh, demand savings um, in the country. And therefore, I see that in the long run, um, in view of this policy, the action plan, and the fact that SON has also published the standard, then there is scope uh, for a widespread adoption of energy efficiency in the country. For the private sector to play a more active role, experts have urged that there needs to be further harmonization across the institutional landscape and between the current political, regulatory and legal frameworks. It is also necessary to build technical and administrative capacities so that the measures introduced by the federal government and the states can be properly planned and implemented. The Nigerian Energy Support Program is currently in its second phase and it will run till 2021. The overarching aim is targeted at the provision of reliable, affordable, and sustainable energy for the Nigerian people. But that's our program for the week. Thank you for watching our inbox at file at channastv.com. It's available for your comments and your questions. You can also visit our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash channasweb. Do click on the playlist menu and then click at file for this episode and other episodes of the program. From me, Ayola Kasim, and the Ed crew here in Lagos, it's bye for now.